Thank you for watching WISD TV, the Waco City Cable Channel, and for listening on KWBU FM. My name is Dale Caffey. I'm at the Animal Birth Control Clinic, and I'm with Executive Director Carrie Keel. And Waco ISD is all about education, particularly from the hours of 8 a.m. to 3.30 p.m., but also when the children go home. Many of our children, Carrie, have pets. And be it a dog, a cat, or whatever, there are responsibilities that go along with being a pet owner. We're here to talk about those with you. And thank you so much for having us today at the Animal Birth Control Clinic. First of all, let's talk about this facility and the services you offer. Uh, we're actually where the cats are awaiting surgery. We're in a room, so if you hear some meows from time to time or some barking in the background, the dogs are right across the way, uh, you'll know why. Uh, but let's talk about this facility and, and what you do here. Well, we're located at 3238 Clay Avenue, and um, we are here to help people take care of their pets, just the basic responsibilities, really just preventive pet care like vaccines and spay and neuter. And, and that's a lot of respons responsibility, uh, not only to make sure that that animal is healthy, but to keep our city safe. It is. It's a safety and, and health issue for humans as well. Yes. We saw some surgeries going on. In fact, it's going on right next door to us here. Uh, talk about uh, who you employ here and how busy you are from day to day. We happen to be here on a Wednesday and you're quite busy today. So talk about your daily activities. Well, we wanna maximize the services to the public. And so we provide wellness visits for vaccines for dogs and cats. Um, that happens in the front of the building. And then here in the back of the building, we do spays and neuters. And last month we averaged 42 spays and neuters per day, um, and that has grown a lot over the years. So yeah, our, our veterinary technicians, um, it is, they, they do this wonderful dance and care for the animals and give them their services, and then our veterinarian comes in and actually does the, the surgery. That's right. Uh, you have several vet techs who assist a veterinarian. Uh, they're actually prepping the animals. And your veterinarian seems, he's nonstop. He goes from one table to another to another. Uh, a very busy operation. Uh, uh, let's talk about uh, the importance of what we're talking about, obviously. Spaying and neutering. Um, you know, it, it really positively affects the behavior of the animal. So we know that if you don't get your pet fixed, that any behavior problems are likely to get worse. And that if you do get your pet fixed, those are likely to get better and even um, your pet would be easier to train. So um, it affects behavior as well as the health. And of course, animal population uh, can be a problem. Uh, we hear all the time about feral cats and, and obviously dogs running loose in the street sometime. And sometimes those dogs uh, do things that we don't particularly like, like chase us on a bicycle or, or bite our children or ourselves. Uh, so talk about how animal birth control fits in with, with what the city of Waco is trying to do right now as far as animal control. You know, spay and neuter makes our city safer. Um, the animals that have um, aggression are typically not fixed. Mm -hmm. um, and then the animals that are doing some of those nuisance behaviors like running loose to find a mate maybe, or um, perhaps barking all night, again, in frustration. So um, those things typically get better um, once the animal is fixed. Let's talk about uh, vaccines because that's another role that uh, you play here at the Animal Birth Control Clinic. Uh, not just birth control, but disease control. Sure. Um, rabies is the first of the list um, because that is such a human care, um, a, a human risk. Mm -hmm. um, so that's required by state law um, and we provide that for $10. Wonderful. Uh, you have special days from time to time, I think, where, where sometimes you have a line that goes outside the door. We do have special days. Um, we offer, um, for, for the folks that are busy from Monday through Friday, um, the second Sunday of every month from 10 to 2, we provide a clinic for vaccines only. So you can come by, um, no appointment necessary. We've got um, two veterinarians, all of our vet tech staff is here, and an army of volunteers. So we also do that during the week, 10 to 2, same prices, um, but we still want to have that Sunday available for those that are busy during the week. Let's uh, send a message to children right now who have that dog or cat 
And you know, that, that they always uh, ask mom, oh, can I have that little puppy? Can I have that little kitty? Sometimes not realizing that it's a long-term project and long-term care. Yeah. So if you had a message that you could send to our students right now at Waco ISD, what would it be? You know, it is a commitment. Um, it, pets typically should live um, anywhere from 10 to 18 years, sometimes more, and um, it, that's a living creature. Mm -hmm. And if we take on that responsibility in an impulse moment, we need to think about that rather than an, a, as an impulse moment, but really as a lifelong commitment to that particular creature. Um, so we can help with that commitment financially with uh, the services that we provide here. And when you take care of those services on a preventive way, it's less expensive um, on the other side because they're less likely to get sick. They're less likely to get hit by a car, um, et cetera. And you pointed out something there. A pet will, leave, uh, will live anywhere from 10 to 18 years and they're not a puppy or a kitty very long. And all of a sudden that, that cuteness and that newness wears off. And it's important for children and parents, for that matter, to know the long term. Sure, it is. It is a serious commitment. That 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 um, kitten young stage and that puppy young stage only lasts for a few months, and so uh, we we need to remember that they're going to become more of a sedate adult animal, hopefully. And we want them as a family member, so um, that's part of part of the whole process. And we have uh, vet techs actually coming in at this moment, and uh, we have a patient looks like who just got out of surgery and we're getting a shot of that on our WISD TV camera at this point and uh, still a little bit groggy and asleep but it goes into that kennel now right and we'll uh, I see the eyes open on the kitty and looks like there's some movement there but still trying to recover from the anesthesia a little bit. Yes, um, this kitty um, just came off the recovery area in the table and um, she will continue to wake up throughout the afternoon and she will be as though nothing happened um, by about four o'clock when the pickup of the patients begin. So she'll be sitting up, um, meowing, ready to go home. <laughs> Uh, let's once again talk about the services you offer and what you offer to low-income households. We do. Um, we really want to help those folks. Um, we offer free spay and neuter if needed if they are on some kind of government assistance. So um, if you live within the city limits of Waco and you have a type of government assistance like um, food stamps, the CHIP, um, disability or Medicaid, um, give us a call and we can help out with that part. Let's talk a little bit about the city of Waco and some new uh, ordinances that have gone into effect. Yeah, um, there's kind of a package of ordinances and um, the details are on the Waco, Texas website, but in general, um, we've got um, a, a tethering ordinance that um, if you can't leave your dog tied out um, without basic needs, um, food, water, shelter, and enough room to move around. Mm -hmm. So the specifics again are on the website of that. Another one is the, um, the mandatory microchipping. Let's talk about microchipping. Is that something you offer here? We do. Okay. Um, and in partnership with the City of Waco, before January 1st, we are offering opportunities to get free microchipping done. Wow. Mm -hmm. and, and talk about the benefits of microchipping. Um, you know, if your pet is um, lost, um, and that happens often, um, you would hope that it would never happen to your pet, but the statistics are that it does happen. Um, you would want to get that pet back. So a microchip is um, a tiny little rice-sized um, implant put between the shoulder blades of the dog or cat, and it's got data in there. Not tracking data, but for someone that finds your pet, um, um, they can scan and find that, that information, that, that number, and be able to get that pet back to you. So it's really got a lot of great benefits to it. And one of the uh, most popular things right now in Waco is the farmer's market and recently even the farmer's market has put down some restrictions regarding pets. Yes, they want to have pets out there but they want people to be safe and the pets to be safe so they want them on a leash. Very good. It's pretty simple. Very good. Any other messages that we need to get out to our parents or our students at Waco ISD or the greater Waco community? Of course we have listeners on KWBU, we appreciate them. Uh, the Waco City Cable Channel is also showing this video as is WISD TV. So some final thoughts please. You know, if you're having um, questions about your pet's health or um, um, something full service related, go ahead and contact your full service veterinarian. But if you want to prevent a lot of those problems, um, come see us first. A lot of what we do um, prevents um, so many problems. 
Well, it has been fascinating being here today and watching your operation. It's quite an operation. Uh, speaking of that, uh, do you entertain guests from time to time in field trips? Absolutely. We, um, we participate in mentoring programs through the school district, um, and um, we love to have students tour so, um, and, and adults. Um, for whatever reason, just come and come and watch. It, it really is fascinating. It certainly is, and you do a great job here. Thank, Thank you so you. much, Thank Carrie Thank you for Keel having me. With the Animal Birth Control Clinic. She is the executive director, and we thank you for watching on WISD-TV, the Waco City ca Cable Channel, and for listening on KWBU-FM. This is Dale Caffey reporting.